Hi, Jeremy here, Modern Vitality. Adrenal fatigue is a relatively new diagnosis that a lot of people are finding applies to them. And with this, you have a lot of chronic stress, you've got a history of that, you've often got a history of inflammatory processes, sometimes abuse and trauma factors in. But for the most part, one of the strongest symptoms here is the actual fatigue, the actual exhaustion. So in today's video, we're gonna look at how to help fatigue and exhaustion from adrenal fatigue. Okay, I know I say fatigue a lot, right? It's important. Not having energy keeps you from living your life. It keeps you from being able to do things that you wanna do. So we need to explore this, we need to understand it. And if you wanna know how to help fatigue from adrenal fatigue, you have to be ready to look at fatigue, energy levels, exhaustion from an entirely different angle. This may be a little counterintuitive. All right, let's get started. So the thing to understand about fatigue and many, many other symptoms Okay, this is, by the way, this is a whole paradigm that we have in Modern Vitality. The way I think about this stuff, it, I hope it helps you because not just fatigue, but all these other symptoms, you want to start to look at them in terms of what is my body trying to tell me, all right? Our first assumption, we're going to get rid of this default assumption that most people have is that symptoms are bad, symptoms are wrong. We need to fight the symptoms. We need to oppose the symptoms, right? And that's medicine, okay? And if this is you, if you've been thinking this way or if you've had doctors or practitioners like functional medicine or naturopath or Eastern medicine or whatever, anybody, and they're thinking about just fighting symptoms, just know that's the status quo. That's the default. That's how, that's just kind of how we respond in our society. We tend to push back. It's not anybody's fault. That's just the, the baseline, but we're here to evolve that. All right. We're going to look at the next step, which is to now embrace the symptoms. And I know this is a bit of a taboo topic because if the symptoms are so painful or they suck, you know, or they're stealing your quality of life, why do I want to embrace them? Well, the way out is through, okay? We have to get on the side of our body and we have to come with a new frame of understanding that our body is smart. It knows what it's doing. It's trying to protect us. And sometimes it has to generate symptoms to do that, even though it's unpleasant, right? But symptoms sometimes are what it takes to keep us alive or to keep a disease from getting worse. Symptoms can become fail-safe protective mechanisms, okay? It's one of these really, really interesting ways to look at it. Symptoms are a feature, not a bug, right, of your body. And I'm going to explain a little bit more about what I'm, what I'm saying here in the context of fatigue. But you can take this and you can start to apply it to all kinds of symptoms, especially the ones from these complex chronic health conditions. So if you've been around my work for any given amount of time, you probably know that I've got a four-stage process that I, I usually use. And it has to do with body systems. Right? The first stage, and you want to do this in order, the first stage is immune, and then the second is digestive, the third is neuroadrenal, the fourth is blood circulation, and there's a bonus, right? a fifth stage that uh, not everybody needs, but it mainly has to do with boosting and supplementing. And that's more where we work on nutrition and minerals and hormones and all these kinds of things that, that maybe need to get dialed in. I've found if you follow this process in the right order, a lot of the heavy lifting gets done up front and you maybe don't need to do all the extra stuff at the end, which is great. So... What I'll say before we get going on fatigue, if you are struggling with a complex chronic health condition, you don't have to do it alone. That's good news. We've got a group. It's an international support group. It's Modern Vitality Solutions and Support. It's free to join. I'm in there every day. This is where I answer questions and you can ask me anything you want in there. It's a wonderful place to be. There's people just like you with a very positive attitude that are bright, sophisticated human beings. They're from all over the world and they're all working on piecing together the puzzle of their healing journey right? They're figuring out what's their next step. What do they need to do? How do I get a plan together? How do I take all this information and organize it and start to think about what are my practical next steps towards getting better in a whole systems way? It's a great group. It's free to join. As I mentioned, we're off big tech. It's a private chat platform we have. There's an application in the description of this video. You can find that link. I'm sure you can, you can find it. And uh, when I see your application, if you look like a good fit for the group, I'll get you in there as soon as I can. It's a small group. I keep it kind of cozy. Usually we top out around 150, 200 members, so it can fill up rather easily. So there may be a bit of a wait. I try, I try to get everybody in within a month of your application. I know that, you know, if you want help, you don't want to wait forever, but I, I'm doing my best. So there may be a bit of a wait. If, right, your application looks good, you'll get notified, you'll get in the group as soon as I can have you there. And in the meantime, you might consider subscribing to this channel. That way you can get a lot more helpful videos, right? You can get more information like this video and you can learn more and more about your body and what it's asking for. So with fatigue specifically, okay, what's the survival advantage to having no energy, low energy, right? To being exhausted. It doesn't make sense initially when we think about 
um, human evolution or being in the wild. Like why would an animal just need to rest and then be vulnerable to predators and things, right? Obviously it's not ideal. In life, we wanna have vitality, we wanna have energy. That's, I believe that's a human birthright. That is our norm. That's our, that should be our status quo is to feel vital, right? Modern vitality. I believe in this word, right? However, in the presence of illness and dysfunction, especially multi-systematic dysfunction, there are fail-safes which can create fatigue. So let's do some examples. We'll do a little bit of thought experiments here. In the immune system, if you have immune problems, right? There can be multiple causes of fatigue all hitting at once. So if you have immune problems, meaning you've got general inflammation, your body's just inflamed a lot, right? Oftentimes that generalized inflammation, by the way, isn't just your immune system's dumb and doesn't know what it's doing. It's usually trying to figure out how to handle some kind of hidden pathogen. Now those hidden pathogens could be viruses, could be mycotoxins, could be bacteria, right? Could be a ton of stuff. Could be things that we have in our environment now that are man-made, like heavy metals, pesticides, microplastics. All these kinds of things come in and they work together, right? Could have like fungi, you know, come in and everything is creating this ecosystem in our body. And when there are players there that are getting out of control or shouldn't be there, the immune system's job is to start to cause a little bit of inflammation and see if it can figure out what to do with these things. Now, when that happens, right, when you have hidden pathogens, and then you have an inflammatory response that's not generalized, there's a fail safe where your immune system and your circulatory system are balancing like a seesaw. And what I mean by that is that every time we get active and we start moving our body and exercising and taking that walk, going rock climbing, dancing, right? Whatever it is, we're pumping more and more blood all over the body. That's what exercise does, right? That's why it's usually beneficial. However, in the presence of hidden pathogens, inflammation, all that additional blood circulation is only going to move pathogens further and further, deeper and deeper into the body, right? Think about this. There's an inherent and silent wisdom going on in the, the balance between your body systems. It's incredible. So if you have pathogens, you're going to be tired, right? And some of that tiredness is because, yeah, your body's using energy to try to fight them. But another facet of that fatigue is actually it's doing you a favor. It's protecting you from getting up and doing jumping jacks or whatever, right? And making things worse. It's a way for the body to, to tell our brain, hey, slow down. I know you want to get up and go do everything and go help people and go travel, but we need to actually be still and try to isolate and contain and do damage control, which is great in the short term while your immune system figures things out. However, a lot of times this stuff can take decades, right? If you have, especially if you've got a lot of pathogens and then there's multiple factors going on. And this is where people usually find my work. They've been dealing with a temporary situation, something that the body should have been able to handle, right? If it had the right support or the right plan, but it just hasn't had that input. So you're stuck in like no man's land and you're just exhausted. I get it. So that's just one, that's immune, right? Digestive wise, what if we've got gut dysbiosis? What if we've got a bunch of different bacteria that are out of balance, we're missing good bacteria, all these things in the intestines, and we're not able to break down and absorb our foods properly. We're not getting the right amount of nutrition. Should we then just fight the fatigue, right, with a bunch of supplements and like ginseng and coffee and all this kind of stuff? Or should we figure out different ways to cultivate an environment where the beneficial bacteria can thrive? And I'm not talking about just taking probiotics, right? I'm talking about changing your internal ecosystem so that you're more hospitable for friendly bacteria. Right? Wouldn't it be good to start looking at the roots of these things? If we have leaky gut, gut permeability, inflammation in the bowel, we're not absorbing our food right. Of course, there's going to be lower energy. Right? The fatigue is a message. It's a sign. It's feedback from your system, from your whole system. I'm keeping this brief, by the way. We could geek out on all these topics, but I'm, I'm trying to just give you an overview. Right? Stage three, neuroadrenal. Stress. <laughs> Right? If you don't have good stress outlets, good stress management, healthy boundaries, right? strong relationships. If you're, I know this is going to be kind of controversial, but some people are um, very uh, empathetic, like they're empaths, they're empathic, and they feel a lot. And if they don't have a really solid handle on that, that gift, that blessing, that special ability can actually turn into a curse, right? which then we can start to transfer pain and fatigue from other people too really wild. You've heard of energy vampires and things like that. You have people in your life that are like sucking chi, right? Sucking juice out of you and you feel it. You can start to feel low. This is just one factor, right? Just one of many. So we need to make sure that we're looking at these different systems. The fourth one, blood circulation. 
if we're not getting good blood flow, if we have cold hands and feet, right? Something like that, where you're, you're not getting good circulation and you know it, or you have a lot of swelling, you're holding on to a lot of water. This happens a lot with pathogens because they want to, they come in and they kind of like sabotage some of the parts of our body that control fluid metabolism so they can have more of a swamp to live in because they like that. That's where they like to party and breed and all this stuff, right? They try to make us more soggy. If that's happening, you're not getting good circulation, you're not getting good flow, and then you're going to have, of course, less nutrients being delivered to your cells, which means less energy, which means fatigue. Okay, those are just the first four. I told you there's like a, a bonus stage five. We don't even need to get into that for this video. This is enough to think about, right? This symptom, one symptom, fatigue, exhaustion, can come from four separate body systems being affected. And most times, it's actually not just one of the four, right? How do I know which one it is? It's probably not one. There's probably multiple. I mean, by the time people come into to this world, to my world, it's a really good bet. They've got varying levels of dysfunction in multiple body systems because that's how our body works. When one system starts to go out, other ones start to compensate for it. And then there's a problem there and a problem there. It becomes kind of a chain reaction and can turn into what feels like a vicious cycle, catch 22, right? This is really, um, in terms of root causes, it's really interesting to start thinking about like roots, root causes, not the one root cause. Because when we look for the one root cause, we wind up with these silver bullet kind of prayers of therapies and things that we can put a lot of um, expectation into, we can get our hopes up, but it's just like one thing looking at one, one potential cause. We really need to zoom out and take a whole systems look at how all these four systems are, are influencing each other. And if we have problems there, how do we then go about creating an order of operations so we know where to start? Well, don't worry, I did that for you, right? It's stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. We, we have this process, right? These are the kinds of things that we expand on within our group. I've got a whole vault of videos in there, interactive videos. You can get to know your own body systems in a little bit different way and start to figure out what might be the next plan for you, the next step, like what makes sense, what feels right in terms of how you're going to start to interface with your body and get it to a place where it doesn't need to generate fatigue to protect you anymore. It's really quite interesting. We have the mitochondria, right? These tiny little pieces, right? These organelles in our cells. And you've probably heard about mitochondria, right? If you're online researching your health condition or you're in uh, forums asking people for like, what's worked for you? You've probably heard somebody talking about mitochondria. And mitochondria are seen as the powerhouse of the cell. They create the energy, right? But that's not the whole story. In fact, there's a lot about mitochondria that we're learning now that really uh, makes it a lot more complex than we initially thought. It's not just like a battery in the cell. The mitochondria also detect the cellular environment and they can tell if something's wrong or something's amiss. And what that then helps them do is they can determine if they should create energy or not. So imagine just for like the stage one, right? You got hidden pathogens, you got inflammation, all these things going on. The mitochondria can feel that and they know, oh, we better not make too much energy or the genius upstairs is gonna start doing jumping jacks and circulate these pathogens all over the place. We actually should close energy production down so that you know, the brain feels tired and doesn't go sabotaging things so we can contain this, right? We need to understand this process, this system, in a way where we can start to interface at the, the roots, the roots of it, right? The multiple causative levels and go in order in a way that makes sense. So I would encourage you, if these kinds of conversations are helpful to you, you can subscribe to this channel. You can apply for our group. You can come in there. We're having great conversations. There's just, it's, it's beautiful, right? There's nothing like this elsewhere in the world. And I hope that this video helps you understand fatigue, exhaustion, and what your body is trying to tell you. All right, let's get you feeling better. Cheers.